top 10 Manchester City players ever. If you're wondering if th that this is my first video for a couple of days because I haven't been too well this week. I've been vomiting and I've had a headache for majority of the week. Um, from like Wednesday till yesterday. I'm, on, I'm back on the men now, so hopefully from um, this week coming, I should be back in school and also making more regular videos. <clears throat> so let's get into this top 10 Manchester City players of all time. In at number 10, I've got Edison. A couple of years ago, this would have been Joe Hart in this position, but I think with his performance in the Champions League final, and that he's won more Premier Leagues than Joe Hart and more overall trophies in his career as, as, as a City player. I'm going to go with Edison. In at number nine, I've got Fernandinho. He, he was a great player for City. And he's going to be a player that the fans of City will remember forever. And I think he's one of the best Brazilian players to ever play in the Premier League. Um, and I think he's in the top five or maybe like top six CDMs ever, Fernandinho. I really do rate him highly. And I think he deserves a statue outside the Etihad personally as like one of the next statues. In at number eight, I've got Rodri. Scored the winner in the Champions League final against Inter Milan, and all and also whenever we've needed him in like big moments, he's always been there with big goals. So that's why he's got to be in number eight. In at number seven, I've got Sean Gota. We've also got to remember players from like previous decades and not just this decade, because you want to look at like previous previous history and not like. History from like the last like 10, 20 years or something like that. But he's got to be in the list. He, he scored a lot of good goals for City. And for me, he's, he's easily top seven. In at number six, I've got Colin Bell. Absolute legend. Obviously, rest is so now because he passed away. But he's, he's, he's such a big legend that... We, we've we even named one of the stands at the Etihad after him and um, he's, he's never going to be forgotten. And absolute club legend. In at number five, I've got Ilkay Gundogan. Absolute club legend, always turning up in big moments for City. Obviously, he's unfortunately left the club now to obviously go to Barcelona on a free, but I think... You can't really have a go at Gundogan because he always stepped up when we needed him and he did everything for this club. So you've got to put him in the top five, in my personal opinion. In at number four, I've got Yaya Torre. I think people forget about him a bit because of how like things turned out with him and Pep and like the bad relationship between the two. But you've got to put him in at number four because... The stuff that he could do with a football, he, he he could get through loads and loads of players and score. I remember that goal that he got against um Aston Villa once. I think it was it was under Pellegrini, I think. Um And I think I don't remember what year it actually was. It was either fourteen fifteen or fifteen sixteen, one of the two. But you've gotta remember Yaya Torre. And I think he should get a statue, but I don't personally think it will happen because of like the stuff that he he's done like off the field. In at number three, I've got David Silva. I think he's easily top three City players of all time. And not only City, I think for Premier League midfielders, I think I would have him in the top three as well because he's an absolute magician. He could he can score free kicks, he can score from open play, he can do volleyed passes, and th there's a reason why he has got a statue outside the Etihad Stadium. It's because he's an absolute club legend and and he did 
um, amazing things for this football club. And I think for the future generations, they need to be told about David Silva. In at number two, I've got Kevin De Bruyne. He gives his heart about this team because he played through an injury and and managed to win us the treble. He also won the domestic treble with City. He was also great in the Centurion season. And I think there's only one player that is better um, as a Manchester City standpoint, as a legend, than Kevin De Bruyne. And I think that's Sergio Aguero in at number one. Because he's the leading goal scorer for the club with 184 league goals. And I think he he's quite high in the 200s for like goals in all competitions. Um, and I think it's only Thierry Henry that's a better striker than him for the... Premier League wise and I think it would be nice to see Aguero come back maybe as a coach or like as a manager maybe in the future with like the likes of like Zabaleta and that and company but thanks for watching this video like share subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be a, probably a reaction to the England Ukraine game, which is a five o'clock kickoff today away from home for England. And I'll see you guys for that video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.